the old me. Can you hear me now? This is the no nasty challenge. My nose running. <laughs> All I'm worried about nowadays is getting in my bag, living my best life, and being a hot girl. Okay, so I was watching this girl YouTube channel, right? Her name is Miss Brittany M, I believe. She's a really good YouTuber, so if you guys are subscribed to her, you guys should definitely go subscribe and check her out. But it was the, the title said like story time of the time I like living with a living off of a rich man or some shit like that. And so I watched it. Okay. Well, in the video, she was just talking about how up north is different than down south. She was like, you know, down south. It's all about your image. It's all about catering to a man and his needs and stuff like that. And she said it's not for everybody, but honestly though, I don't see no wrong in it. Like that is how some of us are raised. We are raised to believe that we are supposed to cater to a man and that's just what it is. Like, you know, you'd be the good trophy wife, good a house mom, cater to a man, and he's supposed to take care of you financially. Now, she said up north because she's from Philly, but she lives in Atlanta. Up north, I think that's where that's at, up north. They're raised to learn about their credit score and having businesses or, you know, like being, being set in your career. And I'm just like, damn. That shit is true. That is so true. Because I really had to learn on my own that I don't want to depend on a man. And I want to be able to do everything by myself and then find a man. And then she went along to say as well as, you know, females like the hood niggas, the drug dealers, some females. And... Bitch, don't look at me. I changed my taste of men. <laughs> I do like them a little hood, though. Just a little bit. Uh -huh. a, re a retired hood. Bro, I forgot what it was. I think we had some guys on. And, oh, what was that black guy room? at the place? At, um, we went to Texas Royal House. And he was like, well, I like me hood. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like a little... I need to be able to say... My boyfriend gonna come air this shit out. And he gonna come air this shit out. You know? No. I don't even wanna hood nigga anywhere. I don't wanna look at like. I don't even want a man. Plus, I need somebody to balance out. I want a Michael B. Jordan now. Let me tell y'all how. He's fine at. Let me tell y'all how. Y'all know, y'all, all my, like, um, my OG Lonnie gang that's been following me for a long time. Y'all know that I was, like, super in love with a young boy, right? Well, he got, he got herpes. Okay, bitch, I already know that. I was super in love with him. But now I'm like super in love with Michael B. Jordan. Duh, he's fine. Yeah, I always um, thought he was fine, but. They made a young boy not fine, though. I never really paid attention to Michael B. Jordan, and then I watched Raising Beyond. Oh, yeah. Mm. And I was like, oh my God. And then I, and then after I watched Raising Beyond, I proceeded to watch because I didn't really like him in Black Panther, so I never what? really paid attention to him. I never, I thought he was fine, but I was like, "Well, yeah, he was a bad guy." Yeah, so I didn't really like him, and I didn't like how they made him like thuggish. Yeah. In uh, Black Panther, because in his interviews and stuff, he's such like a wholesome man, like he's a man, like a grown man, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh, that's what I want." A grown man, like I don't want no hood nigga. I don't want a nigga. I want a man. We, want, we don't want these little boys. Shit. I want a man. When the time is right, we got what we need to get a man. I am single. I'm not ready to mingle, cause Hello. you know. You alive? Last time yeah. I was with somebody, just you know, it didn't work out. Everything is alive. Like me. It was really about. It was really about them. You know when someone's talking, but it's really about them. But they make it seem where it's you. 
But yeah, that's called that's called um I'm a nigga and I'ma make you feel like you ain't shit because I ain't shit. Yeah. That's what it's called. We just got in my own place. Oh, right. I had a car. We're doing a mukbang though, so I'm gonna call you back here. So I'm just waiting on that right person or say if somebody comes back from the past that <laughs> <laughs> you never know. Whatever is real always comes back. But whoever come into my life, hopefully you know somebody, you know, I ain't never met before, and you know, he just find his wine, and you know, just sweep me off my feet, not literally, you know, and we just have the best life, because I want to be engaged, I want to have a house, yes. I want kids. Like, I believe in all that stuff, too, like, I'm not. I don't see why the generation under us, like, does not believe in that. The generation sucks. Like, it's stupid. Like, like I thought our generation sucked. Girl, no. Their you should see the generation, generation after. What, who generation? Amy, under generation? Us. No, the generation under us. Yeah. Say generation. The generation under us. They are horrible. Literally. All they do is having babies and pass around STDs and. I've seen some posts. And then they're having these babies to keep these niggas. No, for real. I seen these posts. This girl was like, I think she was like a senior or something. She was like, I want a baby. And then somebody else shared it. Me, me too or something. Like, first of all. Because all these girls have babies in. Because they tell them, I got baby fever. Yeah, you got baby fever, but like. I have baby fever too. So most kids, because, you know, they're still in their house. They're like, okay, so I can just stay in my house for a couple of years. Help, they, have, they help me take care of my baby. You know, that type of stuff. But you know, if there were some real ass parents out here, they'd be like, "You don't have to get on your own." Now, if he was really like down and like they don't really need something, like I, you know, I don't think that makes you a real ass parent. My thing is, okay, because they just you don't have to make your kids struggle. Yeah, I don't but think struggle, struggle. But most like, of these are coming from people not raising their kids right. So, yeah, we blame the generation, saying the generation messed up, but it's the parenting. First step, that's the parenting. You go wrong with parenting. So you got lost parents trying to raise lost kids. Like, that's all it is to it. Like, y'all know I had Tiana very, very young. Because what? Because I didn't have good parenting. <laughs> like, it, and it really took me a minute. Like, it took me a long time to realize how I was, the way I was, having different boyfriends and stuff like that. But, Thankfully, I figured it out. Not everybody figured it out, but I figured it out and I realized, you know, I don't want to have different men around. I want Tiana to be better than me. So, in order for her to be better than me, I got to show her better. Can't have all these different boyfriends around and that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not ashamed to say it because I've learned from it. And now I'm here telling you guys because I want you guys to learn as well. Like. I want y'all to be smarter. Like, I was that girl who thought it was cute that every guy want to say hey and every guy want to talk to you. But not every guy is truly genuine. No. They're not. Most of them are not. I mean, okay, I ain't going to say that. But. <coughs> not every guy is truly genuine. And not everybody deserves your time. No. Let alone deserves what's between your legs. No. See, I had my first kiss till I was in seventh grade, and I had my first kiss before, right before the summer, right before I went to sixth grade. That's when I had my first kiss at the skater rink. And I had my first first kiss when I was in eighth grade, and then I ain't lose my V card so I was 17, 16. I don't remember when to. I see why God said wait until you have wait until you get married and have sex them. Wait until you find a soulmate and then give him yourself because sex is more than just feeling good. Yeah, that can, shit come with. Yeah, but you know sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard. What? Especially people who get like those horny like feelings that just come out of nowhere. Which I don't. It's not me. No, I'm not telling you not. I'm not telling you to wait till marriage. Like, of course you should, but. Yeah. I feel like I could have done that, but. I feel like if I knew what I knew now, then, and I hadn't started already having sex, I could go. Now. 
But I be having baby fever too, but I'm not gonna go and have a baby, which I could support a baby, honestly. But no. I have baby fever as well because y'all know I have a big girl. <laughs> She's a big girl, so I miss her being a little baby. And I have baby fever too, but bitch, I wish the fuck I would bring another baby. I can't support another baby right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, not like having kids struggle, but I feel like parents are handing, like giving handouts to the kids. Like, okay, as long as you go to school, you know, I'll just make sure I wash the baby, you know. I have a job too, and following this and that. I'll do whatever you need, and you can just do whatever you want. You can still be a kid. It doesn't work like that. Like, they got to, like, grow up a little bit. Like, have them get a job. Like, yeah, but it is fortunate if you, I don't feel like there's nothing wrong if the parent, if the parent wants to help you raise the kid and let you not work and go to school, you know what I'm saying? I think that that's fine. That's what I did. I was, for one, I was not old enough to get a job. But for two, I wanted a job. I wanted to work. My grandma told me, no, don't work, focus on school. So thankful for her, I made it through high school because not everybody has that. Like some people don't have no support and they have no choice but to work. They got to drop out. They got to work because they got to support their kid. You know what I'm saying? So if you have that support, then yes. Yes. And I, and if you don't get a job because your parents think you got to get a job, then okay. But like, bitch, once you graduate, I mean, and they still don't even have jobs. That, and that really blows me. Mm -hmm. Hell no. Like, I just feel like the generation of us just has, like, so many handouts. And I definitely didn't have that. Like, <laughs> Well, then you, that's not, I mean, okay. I don't know. Well, I mean, I didn't have to get a job until, like, I graduated. Like, they bought me my first car. Well, okay. mainly because I did all-star cheer. And so I, then, I was around the, um, you know, going around the world a lot whatever i don't have that like but i do feel like as a parent you should be there for your kid you know what I'm saying? Like, be there for your kid push them to be good make sure they have a plan and try to set them up for life like some parents are just out here just throwing their kid out here boom figure it the fuck out it's just me trying to figure it the fuck out <laughs> but and there's parents who baby their kids that like they be their kids. Like there's kids, like there's people who literally be like, um, say your parents say you need to save money, you know, if you want a car, right? Yeah. And they be like, their friends, oh, I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna spend all this money, yeah, I don't care, cause I know at the end of the day, if I need the money, they gonna give it to me. And the parents like, I used to be like that. I do. They be like that. horrible. I'm not, I'm gonna spend the money. Not like no car or nothing, but if I have some money, like, but that was when I was in high school. I've stopped it now. And I've stopped it as I've gotten older. Like, I've realized, like, okay, I only go to my grandma now if I really need her. Like, I would have to really need her for something. But I know that if I need her, she's there. Like, that's one person that I always know that if I need anything, that's where I'm gonna have to If I fucking strain it. Like, yeah, come on, I just thought they could be full motherfucking big ass trash. I don't know, because people like. Should we put that shit up for later? Now we'll be finishing. Are we finishing on camera? Mm hmm. Oh. Yeah, they be finishing on camera. Literally. All that. No, I didn't take some food up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. They finish all of it on camera. Cause I'm full cool already. I need out. I just had to grab one potato. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. I was gonna yeah, say yeah. it's ding ding time. Girl. Have y'all seen that? That weird ass movie. <laughs> what happened to your podcast? I thought you were starting with. Oh, what's my Oh, it's me, Kyrie. Um, what happened? Oh, we did like four episodes, but then like I think it came down to like time, like having the time to do it, and then like paying for it and stuff. Paying for what? Like 
Because you know when you have like SoundCloud, put up on SoundCloud and stuff like that, pay for it. Pay for it. I would love to do a podcast. Like some raw, unedited shit. That's what I was with. Some real shit. Like I just watched this podcast because when I was watching my Michael B. Jordan interviews, because I had to do my research on it. Like I can't just say I like you and I do not know nothing about you. Cause so he gonna watch this video and be like, "Damn, I want her to." And you know, and he gonna want. That sounds amazing, but I know he's not. <laughs> but um, his friends have a podcast it's called like Wine and Weed or Smoking Wine or some shit like that. Something with weed and wine and. They had been friends with Michael B. Jordan before he got famous, like when he was in college or whatever. And that, like, the vibe was just cool. Like, okay, you drinking some wine. Like, we should do a podcast with, like, wine. Because, you know, we like to drink, right? And then, like, but what were you talking about? Like, I couldn't do a podcast because what was we talking about? Like, what were we talking about? Well, at first, we did it to where we just, like, basically, you know, we freestyled. We, we had a topic in your head, you know, just talk about it. Just bring it out, like... It was unfiltered. That's why I was called in violation, um, RLS, real life shit. Like we just said whatever. But sometimes, like, like I think with the last episode, they were like, um, write down like what you want to talk about. You know, so we don't like clash. And yeah. Say, oh, I was gonna talk about that, but then. Okay. Well, um, that's gonna be it for today's mukbang. Mukbang. Bong. <laughs> um, thanks for tuning in to this mukbang slash vlog video, guys. The next clip, blah, blah, blah. The next clip you guys will see. I don't know if I'm going to insert this into the vlog or if I'm just going to make this its own video. You like mini mukbang. I guess I could make this its own video, huh? Like, uh, cause how long is it? 40 minutes? Okay, well, anyways, I was going to put this in the vlog, but it's too motherfucking long to put in the vlog. So, <laughs> this is going to be it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in our mug, man. We some weak bitches because we couldn't finish our food, but that's okay. Michael B. Jordan, if you ever watch this, I love you. And I think you're fine. No, bitch, don't say my man, but... <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay, well, that's it, y'all. Bye, Lonnie.